Dr. Todd Drulli is dedicating his life and his research to that end. Over the last 20, 25, 30 years, researchers have been looking for that magic bullet. Dr. Drulli had the staff at Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation hanging on his every word. Over three years, a $375,000 grant from Alex's is funding Dr. Drulli's research on high-risk leukemia found typically in teenagers and leukemia in infants. These children also seem to have very poor outcomes. They don't respond well to chemotherapy. Their cancers are particularly aggressive, and uh, in most cases, they die early. New technology is allowing Dr. Drulli to collect unique genetic information from 350 young patients. Why did they relapse, like Eli, after a seemingly successful chemotherapy treatment and then suffer through an even more aggressive cancer? Their drug metabolism pathways are not functional, uh, at least not to the degree that we would expect. Perhaps no chemotherapy is appropriate and we want to take you straight to bone marrow transplantation. It's a genetic mystery that Dr. Drulli wants to unravel and one that Eli's dad, Paul Matthews, through the Brave Eli Foundation, wants to help fund as well. Months before Eli died, Paul and Eli visited Dr. Drulli at his St. Louis laboratory at Washington University to give him a $36,000 check. He said, we're here to make a stand. Eli's stand against childhood cancer. That's why we're here in front of you. 